Hi, my name's Adrian Crockett, and this is my co-founder, Jamie Ballingall, and we're here today to introduce you to Pellucid. And we're going to talk specifically about how Pellucid fixes pitch books. But before we do that, we're actually going to take a little bit of a step back and think about the very nature of financial institutions. We sell ideas. It's the pitch book which is the physical representation of those ideas. It's what we slide across the table to our clients to get them to do what we want. It's a critical part of the sales process. Now, to put this problem into perspective, each major investment bank is going to spend over half a billion dollars this year and every year producing pitch books. This isn't a small problem. It needs to be taken out of the dark ages. Today, here at Finnovate, we're announcing the launch of our platform called Pellucid, and along with it, our first toolkit for the investment banking market. Now, over the last two years, we've done a lot of research into the investment banking market. We've sat down with 1,500 bankers. We've actually audited 2,000 different pitch books. And a couple of things that we've learned, on average, a pitch book has 42 pages in it. If you drop it on the table, it makes a big thud. But however, to get to those 42 pages, bankers are actually producing in excess of 130 pages during their ideation process. Now, these resources are pretty expensive. And because of the resources putting these pages together, the average pitch book ends up costing a bank somewhere in the vicinity of $40,000. Now, with Pellucid, we can automate more than 40% of that entire process. Now, what does this mean? This means for our clients that you're actually saving in excess of hundreds of millions of dollars every year, every year. So with that as a little bit of background, I'm going to hand over to Jamie, and he's going to give us a quick demonstration of just some of the things that Pellucid can do. So Pellucid is an iPad and browser-based application, and it embodies what we call the review, select, tweak, tell model. You review a bunch of charts, you select the ones that are interesting, you tweak them so they're exactly what you want, and then you tell a story with those charts. You construct your pitch book, you put some narrative around that. So suppose I'm an investment banker, a senior investment banker, and I'm covering Chevron. I want to start to pull together a pitch book for Chevron. Where do I start? Well, I can jump straight in here to the library. And the library is going to show me a bunch of charts, organized into sections, very easy to navigate. A couple of things about these charts. First of all, they're based on latest market data, of course. But also, the financial statement data has been scrubbed by the junior investment bankers at my firm so that I know that EBITDA is defined the way I think EBITDA should be defined. Also, they're in the correct branding standards. That shade of dark blue is exactly the right shade of dark blue for my bank. That font for the labels is exactly the right font for my bank. What does that mean? It means I can use them immediately. They're ready to go. So I'm just going to grab the EBITDA margin chart here and drag it down into my content drawer. Let's also grab return on assets, and while we're about it, we'll grab all of cash flow leverage. So now that I've selected some charts, I'm going to want to start assembling a pitch book out of these charts. So here's, here's a pitch book that's already partly completed. Let's finish it off with some of those charts that we just uh, picked up. Let's move the EBITDA margin chart in there like that so that it becomes a new slide. That looks pretty good, but maybe a little bit lonely. So let's switch to a two-exhibit layout, um, and I'll just drag the return on assets chart next to it. OK, that's all automatically resizing to make sure it fits on the page. Let's tweak that return on assets chart a few times just to see what's going on. Oops. I'll, use a, I'll use a different chart here instead. So normally when I want something to be changed as a senior banker, I have to call my junior banker, I have to email them, they have to find the chart in Excel, they have to um, change the chart, they have to copy it into PowerPoint, they have to PDF it, send it to me, I'll review it on my iPad. The iPad at the moment is a read-only device for senior investment bankers. All the comments have to be pushed out. Those changes in and of themselves for the junior banker take about 20 minutes each. So as I go through here and change this orientation, that's about 20 minutes worth of work. If I change the position of the company to inline, that's another 20 minutes of work. If I delete some statistics, that's another 20 minutes of work. So that's about an hour's worth of work there as I'm just going through and clicking on the chart. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Um, the other important 
point to note is, because the iPad currently is a read-only device, with Pellucid it's a writable device as well, I can go through and I can start to edit some text. And that all-important keynote that as a senior banker I want on every page, I can just write that myself rather than having to feed that back to my junior banker and again wait for a full turn. Okay, so let's, let's do one more change to these charts. Let's add another company for the purposes of comparison. Um, and let's add ConocoPhillips. So I'm just going to go in here, look up ConocoPhillips, add that into the list. And those charts are going to immediately re-render for ConocoPhillips. Equally importantly, the entire deck, uh, you might have seen the reload flash there, uh, the entire deck reloads to have ConocoPhillips in all of the charts. Now I can control that. Um, I, I don't have to have that happen, um, but by default, everything is synced together and everything is updated. Over here, I have the company section of the app. This is just where I'm keeping all my decks. It's my document management uh, section. Also, great opportunities for self-plagiarism here. I can just copy a, uh, a deck for another company. And finally, my dashboard lets me navigate, lets me see recent market data um, about each one of my companies, so I know which one of my companies needs my attention. What do I do when they need my attention? Um, I can use that review select tweak model um, to be straight in front of my clients and win that trusted advisor status. So I hope that's provided you with some insight into how Pellucid is fixing the pitchbook problem. We've really switched things upside down. What normally used to take you days upon days to pull content together is now instantly available. <clears throat> and our team's going to be available at the booth for the rest of the day. So if there are investment banking clients, clients in other verticals, alternatively, VCs and data partners would love to chat. And I want to leave you with one last thought. The next time you're pulling together a pitch book using technology from about 25 years ago, and you just feel like bending down and kicking that computer, think Pellucid. We fix your pitch book problems. Thank you.